At the very top of the theater is a chandelier, which weighs about 1,700 pounds. It's the size of a Mini Cooper. That chandelier was on the national Broadway tour of the Phantom of the Opera for about 10 years. In 2017, we partnered with Jacksonville State to present the first non-touring production of Phantom in the state. We worked with the university, and we rented that chandelier from the company who did the original aerial effects for the Broadway tour. When that show was over, we were getting ready to ship it back to them and it's in a massive, massive set of trunks that we were going to ship it back on in an 18-wheeler. And so we got to talking to the company and said, well, out of curiosity, where is it going next? And they said, well, it's been on the road for a long time. It needs some work. We're probably just going to scrap it. <laughs> yeah. And so I asked the question like, well, would you sell it to us? And their comment was, why would you want that at all? It's like, it's neat at, at a basic level. And they said, well, we don't even know how much to sell it to you for. And I said, well, it was going to cost about 800 bucks to ship it back to them freight. That was in 2017. And I said, how about 800 bucks? They kind of went, that sounds good. So we bought that for $1,800, which is insane. And we did lots of work to repaint, work on it. And if you think about it, it's a Broadway set piece. Those globes on it, they're acrylic because it was designed every single night to slide down a track, collapse onto the stage with strobe lights and fog and haze. It is a Broadway, most of it's aluminum, but all the beads are acrylic, can't be glass because you, you know, harm actors and stuff. So it gets lowered twice a year to be cleaned, but it's something very special to us just because it it's a Broadway set piece and people think it's a gilded chandelier that costs $50,000. It's like it's headed to the dumpster and we, we were able to, uh, to recover it.